Welcome back to KB's Kingdom. Cooking with KP. And here today, I'm going to show you how to make sesame chicken with Shanghai sauce. This tastes absolutely amazing. Let's get on with it. First thing we need to do is make our sauce three whole star anise, one cinnamon stick. That is a cinnamon stick. Put that in. I'm going to add one cup of cold water straight into our cold pan and yes I'm using a one-third cup measure it just goes in like that very very simple the next thing I need to do is actually add one cup of soy sauce again that was a one-third cup measure and we're adding in some onion powder three teaspoons to be precise and around about three teaspoons of garlic powder which goes in right there it's about three teaspoons use your own judgment and we're going to turn our heat on nice and low we want to get things nice and mixed one third of a cup of caster sugar again but temperature is not very hot at all and this sauce is a nice salty aromatic and sweet type sauce very very tasty indeed so we've got a bit of heat going keep stirring make sure that sugar gets dissolved two chicken breasts and they weigh about 750 grams I've had those in the freezer just to stiffen up a little bit and that is going to help us cut the chicken breast the way we want it we're going to cut across the grain nice and thinly like that the next shot you will see a better way or a better view of how thin this ends up being look at that beautiful nice and thin put that into a bowl we're going to make up our marinade i'm going to add about two teaspoons of ginger paste or ground ginger or crushed ginger and the same again of garlic that would be around about two cloves of garlic three tablespoons thereabouts of sesame oil and the best way to measure three caps of rice wine or zhaoxing wine or dry sherry now here goes our oyster sauce we're going to add in about five maybe six tablespoons of oyster sauce depending on how much chicken you actually have just going to add that straight in on top okay a little bit of white pepper quarter to half a teaspoon depending on your taste of the ground white pepper and mix that through and make sure all that chicken has marinade all over it right back to our sauce it's been simmering we want to reduce that sauce down by around about half so It'll take a little bit of time we don't want it to burn we don't want it to boil we want it to simmer if possible i think our sauce is getting pretty close to being ready we want to take that off and make sure we strain off all of those aromats i.e all of that star anise and cinnamon one zucchini we're going to cut the cheeks off and we're just going to cut this into battens those battens are going to be close to 100 mil long this was an enormous zucchini if you were buying them from the uh, supermarket they'd normally be two zucchinis so bear that in mind things were growing well in the zucchini department in Canberra Australia this year we've got our battens all cooked sorry cut putting those aside a couple of tablespoons of peanut oil yes that is right peanut oil we're going to get that nice and hot and in goes our zucchini battens we're going to quickly stir fry these through maybe three maybe four minutes we want to get a little bit of softness to those that's my preference if you don't wait i will tell you when to put the zucchini in if you don't want to stir fry these first we're going to remove these from the pan into a bowl and set those aside okay in goes our onion one onion quarter cut if you haven't seen how to quarter cut an onion go back look at some other videos you'll see how to cut an onion 
I might even do a special video on cutting onions altogether. We want a little bit of a char on there. We want a little bit of softness. We don't want it cooked too far. We want to cook them high, quick, nice, and get those flavors happening. I'm going to remove those from the pan, and we're going to put that aside as well, just the way I like to do it. Again, a little bit more peanut oil. And the peanut oil has a real distinct flavor and adds a different charm to all of this. All right, we've got our chicken breast. We're going to start cooking these off in batches. Nice high heat pan. We're going to add a little bit in, just like I'm doing there. Maybe just a little bit more. Put that in. And we want to let these sear off beautifully on one side. So give it a little bit of time, maybe three, maybe four minutes, maximum. Keep stirring around, and then we can start flipping these around just like that. And we only want to cook those for about another 60 seconds, maximum, and they are done. Just like that. We can take these out very, very shortly. I'm gonna set these aside. So we're gonna cook these, as I said, in batches, all of that chicken remove that put that into a bowl nice and simple I'm gonna keep that sitting there just for a little while after the last batch we can put all the rest of the chicken in we've turned our heat down make sure you've got any of that marinade in that little bowl that you have get rid of that get that into that beautiful dish in goes our onion which is already beautifully sauteed off mix that through Keep stirring it. Don't stop stirring. That is one of the things with one of these types of dishes. Our sauce, which has been strained of all of our aromats, we're gonna use about a third of that and spread that all over our meat and onion, just as I'm doing there. Just pour it, now stir it, and make sure you get every piece of that chicken covered in some of that sauce. And put a lid on, let it stew a little bit, not quite stew, almost a braise I would say. I'm going to leave that for about four minutes, take that off and look at that sauce that is starting to come up and out of everything. Mm, absolutely beautiful and your nostrils will be assaulted by this beautiful, beautiful scent of that sauce and the chicken. Add a little bit more of that sauce, probably half of what you've got left two teaspoons of corn flour to a few tablespoons of water make up a little slurry and now we can start making that sauce proper we want that beautiful silken flavor don't forget to keep watching to the end and you'll see how this dish really ends up in goes our zucchini just like that if you would one of the crunchier zucchini you would put your raw zucchini in at this point but we want to keep stirring and get everything into that sauce mmm how good does that look but we have one secret ingredient and that will be at the end of the video trust me just keep stirring it through keep making things move we don't want that sugar to burn version one of serving up just put it in a nice big bowl put that in the middle of the table have some rice or some noodle whatever you wish a little bit of salad even and let people go for it my preferred version of serving it up personally is put your sesame chicken with Shanghai sauce on one side of the plate and some beautifully steamed rice on the other side really nice and simple that sauce works absolutely beautifully with that rice all right if you like this button hit that if you like this video not like this button hey like my like button if you like the video hit the like button gives me confidence of course hit that notifications bell don't forget to sprinkle the top of your dish with sesame seeds just like i'm doing there I also want you to come and join the family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos. How good or how bad it is, again, I will catch you next time.
Bye.